marching on, marching on, left, right, marching on, marching on, left, right, let's go, soldier, let's go, soldier, marching on, 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 let's go, soldier, let's go, soldier, young adults, that's who we be. Pioneering, that's what we do. Transgenerational reformation in diverse sphere of influence. In our diverse sphere of influence. In our diverse sphere of influence. Yes, in our diverse sphere of influence. Yes, in our diverse sphere of influence. Yes, of influence. Yes, of influence. Told you we coming. God's giving you some of you, God's giving you an anointing to begin to speak. Don't worry about how big your ministry will be, what you're going to do. Just be faithful where you're at. You're just youngsters. In your 20s, have fun doing all this stuff. Just have fun doing it. My name it. is Kanyesa Moyo, and I'm 26 years old. Started coming to Cross Culture in uh, August of 2005. Uh, that's the same uh, year and month that I got uh, born again. And uh, I've never looked back ever since. I'm, I'm a pilot with uh, Air Zimbabwe. Currently, my position is first officer on the 767 aircraft. My definition of um, a young adult coming to cross culture is uh, a young adult. Uh, of good manners, honesty and integrity, respectful of theirs and others property, respectful of their elders, in particular those who give up their time uh, for their benefit, proud of themselves and cross culture, determined to equip themselves well even when the chips are down. Because God's equipping you, he's preparing you for when you turn 30, then we'll, then we'll place you. Some of you will be pastoring in Australia, others in Iraq. Iran. Others of you will be pastoring. There'll be nations of the world waiting for you to come. But learn all you can now. Get on those campuses. Get people saved. Learn your gifting. Learn your skills. Be equipped now. In Jesus' name. The anointing. Look, it's all over you. And let's, let's just all engage and worship God. Because it's, it's, it's also about creating experiences with God. Even as we are worshipping, God will speak to you concerning something you have been waiting for a long time. Just being a part of a group of young people that, that uh, are making a difference out there uh, in the marketplace. I mean, the, the challenges that we face are immense. And uh, there's no running away from that. But we've been taught well in this house that surgical prayer is precise. Exactly that the man of God has been teaching us that. And surgical prayer is practical and and, and, and we and we've been doing that in cross culture. We we've seen things that 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 we've never seen before. We've seen and we're so excited this year in the year of multiplication that we're gonna see a lot more. <sighs> you ready to receive the anointing? <laughs> 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 Cross culture, we are always taught that you know you need to pray and be precise and exact with what you want to see happen in your life. And we always say that it's the breeding ground for dreams. The amazing thing for me with Cross Carter is that we don't just come and, you know, talk about stuff that's not relevant. It's relevant. When we pray, we pray for God to give us the desires of our hearts, and He does. I got involved, somebody spotted me, they introduced me to somebody on ZBC, and I got to do continuity on ZBC, as well as do a program, and now I've got two shows that I'm working on so you know I, I just would like to encourage every young person that on Saturday night this is where we build our dreams this is where you come and pray you come and speak into it you're taught on how you can be all that you want to be Pastor Tom has put the grace for reformation because there is the grace of reformation 
upon our pastors, we can partake of their grace. Do you understand? Yes. We can partake of their grace. I prayed a direct prayer. God, I want to be involved in TV. I love TV. I want to speak. And God answered my prayer. I learned the difference between dating and courtship and why it is um, not advisable to date and why it is important to, uh, to court and to give your time to God before you engage in any, in any relationship. The compromises you make in life are going to have effects in the generations that are coming after you. Defining moment. It was a defining moment in my life. It's a moment that determines what happens in your life. When the Holy Spirit comes, there is no way you can come in contact with the Holy Spirit and remain the same. It's amazing what you can do when God is on your side. And when you begin to put your faith in Jesus, uh, nothing is impossible. But now you must prepare the way. Keep yourself, keep your eyes focused straight. Keep your heart right. Do the things that are Honor the sisters, honor the brothers. Honor the sisters, honor the brothers. Honor God, keep your focus straight. Don't flirt unnecessarily. Don't give people a cause to think you're doing something different than you are. Just be strong, be righteous, be gracious. Keep your eyes focused on the prize. You are our future, you are our hope. Through morality, through life, you are going to change and make a difference. You will do it. You will do it.